And there we go. Um, yes, uh, d d shock, horror um, in his face. Uh, d he has to say, it is, um, and this is going to take some getting used to, it is a Wednesday night. It is nine o'clock. It is time to uh, tin your tip with myself, Gary Dibley, and the ever capable mod master that is Mark. That has taken an age to, to get back out. It seems like we've been gone for um, an absolute age, uh, an absolute age. Um, and and there's very good reasons um i had a lot of work stuff on i'm going to show you a, a little bit in a minute about what um this is going everywhere it's all going to go wrong tonight i have no no uh no false hopes that tonight is going to be an absolute perfect run through there are going to be cock-ups galore um i've you probably yeah i it, i put it up i i managed to um if you look at that i managed to take the top of my thumb off um, not that much. I'm wonking it, but yeah. So uh, this week, um, I left everything to the last minute as I normally do, um, and and we've sort of we've got a little bit of we're trying to take a take a step back to uh, to to where we were um, and and bring it up to speed. Um, I'd like to welcome obviously all the people that, that are here tonight in chat, um, new and old viewers. Um, don't be scared off straight away. Uh, it it does get better. Hopefully, hopefully. Let me. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you where uh, Missing Dibley was um, for a little bit. We had a, a huge project at work. Um, 50 seconds. I'll be back. There we go. They're, they're sort of uh, basically where I've been. Um, we had a, a, we're lucky enough to win a, a big project at work that involved. I think it was about four floors um, of a new office block, and and we totally rewired that with data, electrical, the the whole hog, the telephone systems, the um, projection stuff, video conferencing, um, you name it, even a fully fitted gym. And I did have fun on the vibration plate for a few days. Um, they come and get me after a while I, I was adamant I was staying um, let's crack in to our first little section of videos and as I say we, we're we're sort of uh, I'm I'm a bit restricted tonight um, to, 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 fun. 
don't have I mentioned it yet. Um, and uh, I'm sort of I'm going to be guiding you through where we're going, what we're going to be looking at. Um, Mark takes a, a little step back and has a recap on 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 where he was with the project, uh, you know, prior to 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 the. Uh, things kicking off and, and having to go off the air for a little bit um, but rest assured we are we are here we are back and um, and we will be uh, you know here for, for a damn long time it was on I think Tinya Tip was running for about two years um, prior to the little break so that was a model week for for two years um, hopefully hopefully another, another two years in it we've got lots and lots of stuff to be looking at um, new tools coming up uh, I'll see you back here in two and we are <clears throat> Excuse me. Back in the room. The hands are back. Tin your tip is back. Well, I say the hands. Um, one of them has a problem. Uh, yes, we've been away for for a little while, um, mainly due to to my own work commitments. Um, but we are back to to bring you the uh, the modding show that is Tin your tip. Um, myself and Mark Jones. Um, I've probably said all that already. Uh, may have even showed you a video of some of the stuff that, that I've been up to while I've been away. Um, the reason, uh, yeah, we're going to have to call it Trim Your Tip. Um, you may well see this little thumb had an encounter um, with, a, with a cooking knife. I spent two days on, on the lathe and, uh, and um, no injuries whatsoever. Uh, Ten minutes in the kitchen, and I managed to uh, cut the top of my thumb off um, while shredding lettuce. And turned away to look at the uh, the iPad. I had something playing in the background. <laughs> I missed, and basically took the uh, uh, sort of a chunk, of, yeah, yeah, sort of like that off off the off the tip of it. Um, had it all checked out. It's all good. Um, I'm going to be limited, obviously, with fiddly bits. But uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you through a couple of the bits while we've been away. Or I've been I've been busy. Um, I've been busy with with some woodwork. Um, now uh, this one here we we, we showed you um, last time uh, we were around, and, and I had this um, uh, insert here uh, and a couple of a uh, couple of these walnut sides to go on it um, this is at some point going to uh, going to turn into uh, to a DNA or something or, or like that uh, I've already cut in um, a USB charging socket uh, and I've hollowed out um, a groove down in here um, and that now sits flush down in here so we've done lots of work the top uh, I've been playing with um, with some wood and I've, I've got a, a, a load of wood uh, that I made up a big block, pressed together, sanded down uh, and started cutting out bits for various projects. Now, I have got enough for the other side uh, on this, but these are the sort of things we're just going to run through some of the bits that, that you know, coming up, we're going to be going through. Um, hopefully making something like this. My, my wood is coming along. Um, I've now got a fret saw, uh, which, you know, no injuries in the workshop at all. So this sort of thing, I've already got it drilled and started to come together. These are the sort of things, hopefully, that we're going to we're going to be bringing you um, in in the uh, in the coming shows. If you haven't watched Tin Your Tip before, um, this isn't you know normally how we run, um, but just to to ease you in slightly. Some of the things that we've got coming up, I have um, also. Uh, the reason I've got this bit cut out, I've got a project underway at the moment that, that hopefully we'll we're, we're finish off as we go, um, which is uh, another uh, DNA type project. I've got everything in, in wired. Um, we may try and do this uh, again from, from start because it's turned out to be quite a nice little, uh, quite a nice little project. Um, I've got my fire button in there, which is a really nice anti-vandal switch, and I've got a me up and down clickies in there. Um, I've used that wood again and, and made the uh, a top section for this. Um, this bit here I've got uh, already cut out for uh, for a bottom section. Um, and the plan with this is to sort of get the DNA um, to be showing through the bottom here uh, to to cut this in, um, mount it up, and and get the battery. We've got loads of room down inside there absolutely loads of room down inside there to get a reasonable size uh, reasonable size battery and, and all that sort of stuff um, what else have we got I've got uh, a T-Max that has been 
uh, sent in and it was it was actually a return um, because of the uh, uh, it's got a slightly iffy button on it um, but but these are, are stunning little things it's, it, it can take a 18650 um, and it can actually hold a spare 18350 um, because one of these has, has got a little section that has a have you seen these inside it's got a little spongy bit and you can actually put a spare 18350 down in there um, and if you're low on power when you're out and about you can just swap this one why am I showing you this because although this works um, with a little uh, we've got a little pro tank 2 on there and it's working at the moment it's running out of juice um, I'm just thinking this this is going to be an absolute stunning donor for a DNA 30. Um, extending this out a little bit, putting in an up and down, um, the, the backup battery capability, um, two decent batteries in there. I think that's something potentially that we could be looking at as well. So lots and lots of stuff coming up just to give you a, a little run through of, of you know where we've been, what we've been doing and, and what we can look forward to. Uh, let me pop away. Um, we've probably got some stuff coming up from Mark. This, this week probably isn't going to involve much of actually doing, um, unfortunately. Uh, may have a, a little look at something a little bit later on. But just to bring you up to speed of, of what we can look forward to. If there's anything as usual that you guys want to see, um, just pop us a note. We've got lots and lots of stuff to play with. Um, you know, we've been sent loads of, of bits. Uh, we've got one of these, which is a groove. Um, again, a return. Um, we've got uh, a couple of eye tastes that, that we can uh, we can rip and butcher and, and take apart. I've been sent um, by one of our lovely viewers. Now, where has that gone? Uh, an evic that we can that we can butcher. Um, that totally failed. Now, still haven't even looked at this as to, to what the problem is. Um, but Ratfink sent us this one in. Thank you very much, Ratfink. We have lots and lots of stuff, including uh, also uh, one of these with a dodgy button. So lots and lots of stuff for us to dissect and get looked at. I'm going to pop away, come back in two. Now first off I'd like to welcome back all our loyal viewers. I know it's been a while since we've uh, been on tenure tip but we're back now. I'd also like to welcome any new viewers and as it's been so long since we've seen anything from it I thought I'd better do a recap of the mod I was making before we went on holiday. That was the Nintendo mod and I will be carrying this on. Uh, as you'll see, I've done absolutely nothing to it since the last video. Uh, still, everything in the parts as it was when I left. Uh, to catch you all up, I'm going to do a bit of a recap montage, I guess you call it. Uh, so, I'm going to show you clips of what's been going on and where we're up to before I start on anything new. So anybody that hasn't seen the show before or anybody that has can get an idea of where we were and where we're going from here. So sit back and relax. Hopefully this will all make sense. Now this week, as you'll see, Lamental very kindly sent, also sent me one of these NES controllers. So I thought I'll have a play with this, and it won't be a DNA 20 mod. So I've had a think, and probably what I'll be using to power it will be this 20C 1300mAh lithium polymer battery. So with a bit of work, uh, this battery will fit up in here. I'll have to remove a couple of the, no, at least one of the screw holes and the corresponding piece on the other side, which will be here. But what's going to be controlling all of this 
will be this. And you might not recognise what it is. I wouldn't be surprised at all. But this is, or was, an Eagle, an Eagle Twist battery. As for the control, I'm going to use what was the cable hole on this. So this control on its board, I think, will sit right inside of there. So if I square off the edges of this hole, this whole thing should fit inside there. Given an external control, they use the voltage. There isn't a massive amount of room to work with here. In particular, I want to keep this support intact so it'll hold the board in place. So, as you'll see with a bit of work, the control sits in there nicely flush with the top. It should be easy just to control with a thumbnail or a small screwdriver. Next I'm going to have to work out exactly where I want the switches to go. Eh, yeah, switches switched. What I'm probably going to do is glue, cut this section out and glue it in place. And that'll hold it. And again for the switch I'm going to have to just trim down this a bit. The switch will just glue in place over the top and fire nicely. So that's that sorted. So that should just be a matter of running a knife blade along here. Like so. Now I'll leave the rest of the holding in place and that will sit flush. So they'll super glue in place. This button will also be super glued down. So for this, all I'm going to need is one section. And as I'm not going to be using this post to hold it in place, I'm going to get rid of it altogether so it gives me a bit more room for the battery. So It's quicker and easier. Hold it for a few seconds. It should be done. For this one, again, it just needs a layer. the upper surface and I think around the top where the buttons would go in that's pretty much your contact point so and just push it into place Try to make sure that you don't glue your fingers at the same time, of course. Which I very nearly did. <laughs> Finally, you've got your other button. I'll just. glue around the edges. I'm 
just remember to put the lid back on as soon as you're finished. Otherwise it leaks everywhere. And there we go, we are back in the room once again. And hopefully with no echo, no mess ups, no nothing um, up to this point. Now we're only 20 minutes in um, and, and I'm, I'm sort of marking that up as a success thus far. Um, having a good day so far. I've, uh, I've managed to, um, cause obviously Vape Fest is coming up in, in August. Um, I've, I've actually managed to, uh, to buy my tent today. Um, so more than happy with that so if that comes before the weekend I'll be pitching that in the garden um, and I've got my little barbecue and everything I'm starting to build up my uh, my, my vape fest kit um, so yeah all good stuff let's let's go into our little first little ad break we'll pop back after this and <laughs> somebody made me chuckle today I'll, I'll tell you about this after the break Liberty Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. first ad break done as well you know it's, it's all good um yeah people seem to be worried where i'm going to plug my soldering iron at, at vape fest um i i will be having hopefully a a pitch with with power um i'm hoping it's you know, if, if i can um and if there's the, the boot is gradually filling um I've, I've got a lot of stuff we, we normally take the pa stuff for the raffle and and all of this sort of stuff i've only got a tiny little car um, it's like a noddy car and uh, and hopefully if I can after all the tent and the sound stuff and all that's in there I'm going to stick the iron and the lathe and, and everything in the space that's remaining um, and try and get those down to, to vape fest to, to do a couple of um, turning lessons and soldering and all that sort of stuff if, if I've got room um, but yeah we'll definitely be having power there there are power points everywhere so there shouldn't be any reason why uh, why anybody hasn't got power if they've asked for it well in advance um, coming up like I say we've got lots and lots of stuff coming up um, unfortunately I don't know if I've mentioned it before but I cut the top of my thumb off um, while dicing some it, it was fine slicing I, w I was fine slicing lettuce um, and, and I'm blaming uh, Apple for this one because the iPad um, was on in the corner of the room and uh, I was what was it that I was watching I was watching something something happened on this this film or whatever was on and I, I looked around for two seconds and and missed the lettuce um, basically um, I do most of the cooking in my my house my wife is absolutely um, and she won't mind me saying this she is a crap cook um, that's the only she can burn water she, she's given me food poisoning more times than I care to mention um, and I'll probably be very very dead after she hears this even though she doesn't mind me saying it but uh, it's true love you are crap in the kitchen um, I can cut body parts off and it still tastes better um, let's crack into our second uh, set of little videos we'll be back very shortly after this Now then, hopefully, after watching the last video, you're all caught up on where I am. 
Uh, so I'll be ready to carry on with the NES mod probably from the next show. Uh, for now I want to give you a rough idea of where I want to be going in the future where be mods, things like that. And the first thing I want to show is going to be this which will be my well, I've labelled it the uh, Mark's dual coiling thingy as I haven't got a better name but it's a coiling jig so hopefully we'll make two coils at the same time for when you want to dual coil things watch the single coil if you prefer this is my first prototype uh, just made out of wood for ease and this is where I need to ask chat's help because uh, currently I've got posts for two millimeter coils, two millimeter diameter coils, and three millimeter diameter coils, which work perfectly well with this. Uh, but I need to know what size diameter coils people normally use, what they'd like to see. So if Chuck could give me a clue, uh, it'll be. 2 and 3 millimeter for definite, but if there's any other particular size that people really think I should use, then let me know. Uh, the finished one, when I make it uh, on the show, won't be made out of wood. I'm currently thinking about this rather thick uh, perspex, so I'll be making a block out of probably that to start off with. And then at some point in the future, if I start making them, I'm thinking about getting some. Uh, cast made for of particular shapes, so maybe it's a squared off one or a round disc uh, made in the same sort of material that uh, most of the drip tips are made out of so some sort of perspex resin or something like that but we shall see that's for the future so if you could let me know what you think I should be using that would be a big help and next I've got plans for several mods, as you can see I've got a box full of circuit boards and displays. Uh, quite a lot of these will be used, so that's the step down board, which seems to work fairly well. And as a little bit small size I should make some interesting mods with that. Maybe there's a display. Uh, I've got these three wired displays, which means that if I take with it via a switch the power lead directly to the batteries, it means that whatever voltage you're displaying will be displayed on this. It won't go dim when it gets down to three volts or whatever. So hopefully that should be more accurate. And along with those, I have got various. Bear with me. Various other circuit boards. That's just a big jumble here. Uh, out of other mods, now I've got that's from an ITS VV. That's going to be repurposed at some point. Uh, I've got the board out of a SID uh, Evic. Uh, can't remember what that one is. That's the one from the Ego C twist. And it was some cheap mode. So all of these, of course you'll be familiar with that step down board. Planning on using all of these in various different casings. Probably going to be the more unusual the better I think. So what I'm looking for again from chat. I need some suggestions for casings that these can go in. Uh, anything weird, wonderful that you want to see, you try. Possibly fail, I don't know. But I'll give it a try. If, if you can suggest something that these could go in, that would be a big help. Uh, try and keep it possible, if at all possible. I know what you like. like. Uh, I know that one of the first suggestions is going to be some sort of sonic screwdriver mod. I would try that at some point if I can find one suitable and cheap enough to use. But apart from that, is there anything else you really want to see me do? 
I'm looking for any sort of weird and wonderful suggestions if you've got a particular case you want me to put it into uh, get in touch and see what we can do for you but something will come out of all of this hopefully so that's about where we are for the future shows and any suggestions of anything else you want to see any other circuit boards you want me to try and use let me know and we'll see what we can do for you as after all it is your show right I suppose I better get on with some modding for the next part see you soon okay got way back still with a bit of thumb missing now one of the things uh, that, that we're going to be looking at um, next week uh, I've, I've had this uh, sent to me now you will all recognize this as a a Wii controller and um, we've all you know I think uh, before we left and Mark may be catching up on that um, we were both looking at the uh, the Nintendo controllers um, way back way back sort of uh, Christmassy time and uh, the reason I've got this, this was actually sent to me. The one thing that we will try to show you uh, during these shows is is how to do things, not properly, but in a in a in a reasonable way, um, so you can go and have a go for yourself. Um, this one was actually sold on eBay, um, and it was sent to me uh, to have a look at and a play with because when it arrived to the person, they 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 bought this on eBay, and um, first thing, you know, it's not perfectly centre. We can't always get our Eti connector centre. It's got a yeah, horrible little switch in there. It really sort of got to me when, when you look inside this thing. Now, there's the end. Bearing in mind somebody had paid for this, you know, with, you know, hard earned and this and the other. But if you're going to be selling mods, This is just ridiculous. Um, down in there is is a pos pin of sorts. Um, we've got some nice tidy cutting out on 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 the box there, um, and we've got this lovely uh, red layer of uh, of insulation tape um, popped down in there just to you know insulate everything up. Um, you can obviously tell I'm taking the Michael ever so slightly. This has got to be the most hideous thing I've, I've seen. Um, when it comes to actually putting a battery in, now this has been, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to say modified, I, I butchered, um, to take an 18650 battery. Um, it gets interesting down on this terminal uh, when you put a battery in um, because you can't even get the bloody thing past um, that to to even get it to even slightly you know and this is a flat top battery um, you know you can't even get the damn thing in so oh god knows if you were selling that you need shooting or slapping or something it's hideous um, but we're gonna have a look at it and see if we can we can doctor um, something good out of it uh, this is gonna be my mission um, next week uh, you know, to see if we can do something with that. We've got a plan, um, and although this is a, a donkey of a mod, I've made one um, myself, which is which is probably even more of a donkey. I've I've done my usual. Um, what I'm going to try and do is make good uh, one of two. Um, I, I've been playing uh, with one of these. Um, you may have seen on on the little video thing of, of catching up where we are. I've I've done a little. Really, these switches are gorgeous. I'm going to show you where we get these from, and the set and the other. We're going to have a, another try at, at making this. Um, I've got a, a little screen holder in there that I've filled with some perspex, and when I lifted that up, you've probably seen the error of my ways again. I have a new board um, to pop in here, uh, and I've also been buying some of these uh, 3D printed. Um, screen holders for the DNAs. Now I believe you can get them um, with a cradle as well to hold the board but I've just gone with the uh, with the screen holder. Maybe I should have gone with the cradle because I did my usual stunt when I was putting this together and I've managed to uh, despite epoxying it. Now this was the board I epoxied before we went away. Um, I've, I've managed to uh, rip the screen off when I was trying to 
get everything back down in the box it was looking oh so good uh, but we've got a little uh, charging circuit down in there I've got a, a, a nice little um, AW battery in here uh, it needs buttering so I'm going to reuse uh, the DNA board which is still functioning um, very very well but without a display um, and make use of two. I'm going to try and get the uh, the DNA board minus display. We'll see if we can get a display in there of some sort um, and stick that in the uh, in the Wii controller um, and try and try and do something with this switch in. And I don't know. It may not be uh, salvageable. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it because I think there's been so much epoxy in that that I can see uh, in the seals um, to hold it together. We may not be able to uh, to do anything with that, but that's where we're hoping to go. And uh, and while we're on the so uh, I've got I don't even this we did a long time ago. Um, this has come back. It's been well used and abused, um, and uh, it needs a, a little bit of uh, doctoring. But we'll also be having a quick look at um, a repair job as well. Like I say, I would be doing this today, um, but I'm struggling a little bit. It's still really, really, really. Uh, uh, tender on on the end and uh, I've knocked it a couple of times and, and swore a couple of times so I'm gonna take it easy sort of things that, that we'll start looking at and we'll start looking at this one next week um, like we said before if you want to see stuff let us know what you want to see and we'll quite happily do it we're gonna be getting on the lathe a lot more this time um, and hopefully we've got some uh, some good news about the the metal lathe coming up ever so shortly um, back into and there we go, we're back in the room once again. Um, and hopefully without, I'm, I'm getting used now to this echo thing. I've done nothing but for the past two weeks learning to put the video on without the echo. Um, yeah, I know a few comments. Um, somebody bought this on on eBay. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they paid for it. Uh, I, I think it was around the time when a, a lot of the um, the DNA mods were, were about in the Wii controller. Um, it is absolutely, and I'm not going to knock about it, it is hideous. Um, it's great if you're going to make that for yourself. Um, and, and you know, if, if, if you're going to make something like that for yourself, brilliant, all well and good. The, the point of this show is is encouraging people to uh, to pick up your tools and, and have a bash. Um, but for Christ's sake, something like that, don't sell that. That is an absolute bleeding liability out there in, in you know, mm, not wrong. Um You've obviously said you see my my. I'm going to reach across and grab that. My uh, my my little. I was trying to do, and I've just got the screen in my lap. Um, I was trying to do a a tiny 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 DNA um, DNA. That was a DNA twenty uh, mod, and um, I did my usual. I epoxied it on, and this any other. Too much in a spool. Yeah, you know, it's it's very well planned. If I dare say so myself, um, and it would have gone in, but for for one thing, I I got so excited that that it was all in and working, and it was just two final placements. Um, I just I I I shot the full load, and and it just went wonky at the last minute. Um, I got a little bit frustrated as well, and uh, because it wasn't going where it should have gone. Uh, but yeah, too much excitement in in a very very short time. Um, led me to uh, to bugger that. That's that's my own fault. It will go in and and it will uh, it will work. Um, I spent hours cutting out the little bit of a perspex to go in there. I I also made a mistake, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. You can order for for these DNAs now, these um, 3D printed screens, and I I believe you can also get the the DNA printed screens now with um, with a, a board holder um, to secure the whole thing up. Um, these come in different depths, and I'll, I'll go in a bit more detail in, in how you can order those and, and what depths they come in and what that means to you, because I now have a, uh, a full complement of those. Um, so uh, I can talk you through basically what each depth means. Now, I went for the, for the, for the biggest one, which is about a 5 mil depth. Um, it was wrong for, for, for what I wanted for this box. Um, but we'll go through that, in, like I say, in, in a little more detail in some of the shows coming up. Like Mark said uh, in, in his videos, um, we, we're trying uh, on the return very much to, to be led by you guys. Um, we have, if you like, uh, a very good stock of, of parts and boards and 
this that, and the other um, if, if you want to see something just let us know and we'll do our damnedest to get that into the schedule um, it, it, it's great sometimes uh, you know the, the ideas run out it's great to have a bit of input from the viewers stuff they want to see uh, which enables us then to it, it takes the thinking out of it we just have to think about making the mod rather than sat there going what the bleeding now we're going to make this week uh, with all that said, let me pop in to our second little ad break, which is down here somewhere. Um, it's there, and uh, and we'll be back in two. Liberty Flight sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley. Sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. go with back I really must clarify um, when I was talking about this I was talking about the uh, the, the, the glue gun um, the, the it wasn't I wasn't that excited I, I, I had the glue gun in my hand to, to tack this in um, and when I finally got it in place I'd squeezed a little too hard on on the tr I'm probably going way where I shouldn't go um, I've noticed there are a few comments in chat about a certain product that is now available um, in in the pound shop um, which is effectively a, a perfect holder um, a perfect recipient um, and a good giver um, of, of batteries um, so I'm, I'm gonna look very long and hard in, into sourcing one of those um, if I can for a, for a forthcoming show let's slip into <laughs> Oh no, it starts. Let, let's let's heading to our next no, let, let's go to the next videos. Um I'll be back in two. Alright, when I watched back the last video, uh noticing how all my ram mad ramblings, I realised I've forgotten a couple of things. Uh, one thing I will be looking at for future shows, we're getting back to some basics, probably starting off with the simple AA battery boxes, making a nice simple mod, uh, maybe it's a VV mod at some point, and try and explain what goes where and why in a bit more detail. Uh, just because I understand a lot of people won't have seen any of this, some of you would, but we might need more information if you want to try one yourself. So they will be coming up in a future show. And the other thing I really should have mentioned at the time was I had all these batteries lying around like this and really 
I need to deal with a bit with the safety of these batteries. I've taken them out of the devices and they're just hanging around and as you'll see this still has power to it, it's still a functioning unit. So there is power in that battery so you do need to be a bit careful with it. And the first thing you need to remember is when you're going to remove one of these batteries make sure you cut the wires one at a time. Don't be tempted just to snip off both wires at once because there is a good chance these are metal you are going to short out the battery. So be very careful with this. And just snip it away. Attempt to try and go as close to the battery as possible. Uh, just one at a time. And these batteries won't be used again, but whether they are or not, it wouldn't make any difference. Uh, I always have insulation tape to hand. Make sure you tape off two wires and the ends of the batteries just to make sure that they can't short out against anything nothing can go wrong because that's the one thing you don't want to happen so just make sure you tape off the ends, make sure they're out of the way now this will be going to be put in a recycle bin at some point but even I keep the tape on because I don't want anything shorting out in a bin or in a full of batteries so that could be really nasty so just remember that before you do take dispose of them. And the other one again is this. This is the battery I'm going to be using on the Nintendo mod. Again, I'm not be using this plug, so I want to disconnect this from the plug, which is going to involve cutting the easiest way. And as I've said, just don't leave wires lying around attached to batteries. That's really you're asking for trouble. I keep doing it, I keep leaving these things lying around. And it's a miracle I haven't had an accident. So just tape them off until you're ready to use them. And then once they're in place, it's a good idea to try and insulate what they're connected to. Just for that added protection. So there, that battery is now safe. I can leave that lying around until I'm ready to use it. Right. The next thing I'm going to be dealing with is a bit of, a bit about soldering, I think. And first off, one of the most important things you can do with soldering, soldering is clean your tip. I tend to prefer a damp sponge. As you can see, there's not a lot of free moisture in this. It's damp, but it's not soaking wet, because that'll cool the tip down too much. And if you don't want to use one of them, there's always these... Basically, it's a scourer. Uh, soft metal, which is quite good for cleaning off the tip. But I find with this, I end up flicking solder everywhere. And I have caught myself a couple of times with flying bits of solder from some of this. So I prefer not to use one of them. Prefer the damp pad, and this has one major advantage over that and one major disadvantage at the same time. It's the exact same problem. When you put the tip onto this, as you'll see, it sizzles, and that is going to cool down the tip as well as cleaning it. Now, it's a disadvantage because it's cooling down your tip, but it's also an advantage because it it means that you can get to the perfect temperature while it's reheating to retin the tip nicely, like so. Now one thing you will find can be really helpful when it comes to soldering is to set things up before you think about soldering it. If at all possible clamp your components or find something to hold your components in place with and that way you'll find it a lot easier to work with because you've got solder in one hand and iron in another it doesn't always leave a lot of free hands when it comes to tinning up a wire you tin the tip first, hold the soldering iron to the wire and allow the solder to melt into the wire 
I flew into the wire I should say. Uh, the other component I'm using here is actually a strip of metal. And this is a solder tab for used if you want to solder to the end of an ordinary battery. And you have to be a little bit careful with these when soldering to a battery because you don't want it getting too hot on the battery. And be mindful that this piece of metal is going to get hot. You'll find yourself something to comfortably grip with it. Again, always be cleaning your tip, retinning with fresh solder. And with the two components already tinned, it should just be a matter of putting the two together and applying the heat. And if your hands don't shake too much, you will find that they've soldered on nicely. Now this I would attach to a battery negative to make life a bit easier for myself. Now if there's any other techniques that anybody wants to see, I mean I'm not the world's best solder by any means, but I get by. But anything you want me to show or explain, I say, pop it in chat or send me a message at some point on the forum or whatever and we'll see what we can do. I think that's my time for this week. So, what do we have laid out before you? Uh, another taster of things to come. Now, I, I do apologise um, uh, for for the lack of, of actual modding tonight. Um, it's it's, it's going to be it's a night of recapping and and, and looking at, at where we're going in the future, just so you guys can get a feel of of, uh, of the directions we're going to be going in, rather than steaming in and modding. That with the fact that uh, that I managed to take the top off a thumb. I may have mentioned that a few times now. Um, may have something to do with it. What we've got here uh, is, is basically a number of projects that we're going to be looking at. Not necessarily uh, what we've got laid out here, but the, the material of, of choice. Um, I've been doing a lot of work, uh, a lot of practice. I don't know if if you remember the first time I got my wood, my my wood lathe, um, it was it was a uh, a very big learning experience. Um, I'm nowhere near a uh, a master of the trade, but I've I've learned a hell of a lot in terms of um, how this particular tool, which is my my weapon of choice, um, how that works. This, this is a tungsten carbide um, round tip. Um, and I do nearly all of my work uh, with with this tip. It is a very versatile piece of kit. So I want to I want to be running you through um, a wood lathe, how we make mods on a wood lathe, um, and and we'll be teaming that with with the with the electronics and bits and pieces behind them. We've got a, a few different types of material that, that we're potentially going to be working with. Um, the round blanks here are a a, a poly. Um, uh, a poly acrylic mix um, and, and these come in many shapes, sizes, colours, this, that and the other. Um, and these ones here are a pure uh, acrylic mix. Um, these sort of swirl pans can produce some stunning designs. What are we going to be doing with it? We're going to be doing lots. We're going to be potentially um, looking at, at a pipe um, with, with either acrylic or some wood. Um, we're going to be uh, revisiting this little fellow, which is still in this state. You can see how much time I've had for modding over the past few months. This this still sits here and, and haunts me. Um, but I've been I've been doing a sort of a dry test run um, with with a chunk of oak, very much like this, and uh, and we've got something almost as as a as a working prototype um, that that. I've, I've been looking at tooling on, on hollowing um, and, and to get this down it's not a simple case of, of, of drilling um, it would be lovely but a 22 mil drill bit which is what I need is seriously expensive um, so I, I've done this one all by hand um, 
which was very, very time consuming. Uh, a, a test sort of fitment for a switch, which is not going to be the, uh, the, the finished switch. Um, we, we've got a better idea for this. And um, yeah, so something along the lines of, of, of this type of thing, uh, again, on the wood lathe. And with the acrylic, we're going to be looking at potentially a, a nice little, uh, if you like, a case mod. Um, this here is uh, is your standard Ego battery. I believe this one was uh, was a, a Janty. Um, the the case had got battered and and mullered and this that, and the other. So I decided to make a little uh, a little new housing for it out of the uh, the acrylic. Very similar to this sort of stuff. So that that's been narrowed, hollowed, and and refitted. But this this one here, I think, is is going to give us a a good idea of, of some of the principles behind actually using a hand lathe and, and that can carry across for the uh, for for the metal lathe. The only difference with using a hand lathe and, and, and a metal lathe is is the tooling. Um, obviously with a hand lathe you're, you're pretty much reliant on, on eyesight and this set and the other. You know you can't get a perfectly straight line unless you can run a perfectly straight line. Um, that sort of stuff. Uh, lots and lots coming up. Um, obviously, with this as well, there is a vent hole in the bottom. It will, it will not work as an ego is designed to do, which is to blow the bottom off. So th this one here, you know, not everybody's got a lathe in their back garden, but uh, you know, it's just to show you, show you how we do it. Um, you know, if, if something like this was sparks an interest for somebody buying a lathe and, and having a bash, all well and good. Um, be over the moon if it did um, and I know we've we've done that in the past with with some of our, our metal work it inspired some people to buy metal laves and, and they are now successfully um, selling bits and pieces so that's what we have lined up for you going forwards again if there's anything you would like to see um, apart from me losing another part of a finger I, I, I don't mind uh, send it through on the uh, on the vapor trails um, forum um, PM me on any of the forums and, and the same goes for Mark and we will do our utmost to bring you something that you do want to see uh, but that should give you an outline uh, going forwards as, as to what the sort of stuff we're going to be looking at um, this has been uh, interesting we will say I am well and truly out of practice I had a lot of plans uh, for soldering and, and this that and the other but um, my finger is now killing me and I must stop banging it on the desk I need to go and take some more drugs and uh, I will be back very shortly. And there we go. We're back in the room again. Hopefully, for the final time, with uh, with no echoes. Um, so we, we're going to be, uh, like I say, a, a taster of things to come. Um, from next week, we will be uh, full on in into the modding. Um, we're all fired up and, and ready to go. I've just got to wait for, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I did take a little bit off the top of my thumb. Um, I've got to wait for that to grow back. Hopefully uh, over the next week it'll be a little less tender and um, and we can do some stuff with it. So it's, it's uh, just very, very, very quickly um, before I get screamed at for, for, for time. Um, Mark was talking about battery safety. Obviously there's a, a lot of stuff going around at the moment about battery safety. Um, I see one thing on battery safety today uh, that, that that did make me chuckle, and I don't know if you've got, uh, have you seen this on Facebook? I don't believe it's true for a second. If it is, the guy who did this is is a complete and utter ass. Um, simple as. Uh, so <laughs> I think it, it start. It's it's obviously a joke. Uh, he said, you know, it, it started on Facebook. Somebody saying about um, he wanted to hire the amperage of his batteries, and somebody suggested boiling them. Um, and and apparently he went away and and boiled his um, 18650 batteries too high the amperage uh, limit on them. Um, no, that that's stupid. Uh, you you don't do that. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's on Facebook. If you're on some of the groups, you'll see that flying around. Gimp. If that was you and you did that, you are gimp. But don't don't do that. It's wrong. You need to you need to look after your batteries. You don't boil an 18650 to higher the amperage. Um, of all that said, we are rapidly running out of time. Next week, uh, again, apologies for tonight. Next week, we kick off um, good and proper um, with, with some modding. Um, if you've got any ideas, chat them through to us. Uh, it, it's good 
to be back. Um, it, it's been it's been a bit of a buzz. Uh, it, it's been a, a nervous time um, with button pressing this that, and the other, but uh, but most definitely a buzz. Um, enjoy it and uh, and and long may us continue. Um, thank you for everybody who's tuned in tonight. Thank you if you're watching this on the replay. Our chat are absolutely fantastic. Um, thanks, guys. You've given me. Uh, a bloody good laugh tonight um, and, and hopefully you've, you've had a good time too um, with all that said it has been emotional uh, once again and uh, and we will catch you next Wednesday 9 o'clock on Vapor Trails TV don't forget all the shows and, and I've forgot something already don't forget all the shows that we've got coming up this week um, all, all the stuff throughout the week and 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 the radio um, don't forget the radio um, I'll be more sorted next week I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the groove now um, catch you later Tim, your tip with Gary Dibley.